You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go! John John the Don versus Geechee Gotti. URL's Born Legacy 7 is the first of many app-only events. 15 minutes of fame. John John the Don, uh, probably one of the hardest working motherfuckers right now. You got a lot on your plate. Yeah. Got to, man. <laughs> got to. Yo, let me let me start here. What, what was uh was it was it June? No, it was what date was it for uh no nine? June eighth. So June eighth. Now you got June thirteenth, and then right July after 13th. I mean uh, July thirteenth. Right after July thirteenth, then you got August tenth. Yeah. Who's your ghost? I have some in September. And May. Oh damn. Yeah. It. Might have some in September. Is this too much? Are you overdoing it? Probably. You think so? Probably. Probably, but you know, that's that's the challenge. We're gonna see. That's the thing. We're gonna see. It's just about challenging myself. I just 2019, I knew it was gonna be a big year for, for, for battle rap. I knew it. I seen it coming with everything that was locked in, and I knew the type of energy was gonna create uh gonna be created around that. So I just needed to make sure, especially then it was just in the right timing of me just wanting to chill for a second, at least take a couple years off. So, and I was thinking this last year, I was gonna do this last year, like for this year, but I was like, no, you know what? I'm gonna go one more year and try to go as hard as I can. And then lay it to rest for a couple years, maybe, you know what I mean? And then try to get involved, really go behind the scenes more with bullpen and do a lot of more things with bullpen, invest a lot of my battle rap energy into bullpen so me it, it, this is me setting it up for that i'm laying the more groundwork the foundation as an active battler before i really just put all of that energy in the bullpen and i and i can use that and show the upcoming battlers like what you can do like how to learn from like really my my steps my steps this is this is what i did to get here and really use that so it's just to add more i, I felt like i had a legacy already but now is to add more. I still can add more. And why not add more in what could be the most, you know, the biggest year in battle rap? You know what I mean? So this is this is all this is all this is all it's all part of a plan. You know, so it's that's why I'm doing it. Yeah, it might be a lot, but I'm trying to really give it my all. I'm trying to go as hard as I can. Like, you know what I mean? For the rest of the year, everything. Every time you see John John Don, it has to be something to be talked about. You know, remembered. You know what I mean, and that's just not, and that's not me saying like I'm just gonna be using antics and doing all of that other shit. I'm just as far as the battle alone. You know what I mean, like the shit, the type of battles I want to bring and just leave there, just something to be talked about all the time. You know what I mean. So that that's what's going on. So people are like yo, everybody, battle rappers always saying they're gonna retire and and they never do and boom boom. They don't understand. This is a goal of mine. This is not nothing I want to, you know what I mean? I want to be able to retire and really feel like, yeah, I laid that. I did that, laid that legacy. Now I'm doing this. This is a goal of mine. So it's not, <laughs> you but, know, but, tonight. But there's a way to not retire and then battle once a year or when, whenever you feel like battle. So you don't have to necessarily say, I'm going to retire and never battle rap again. Yeah, but I, I don't say that. I never said I'm retiring. Okay. You know what I mean? I never said that. Well, I, I just said it's my sure last. That's clear. Yeah, this is my last fully active year of battling. Okay. Like you see how I'm getting involved. Like I'm doing a Born Legacy for the first time. It's just because I've never touched the Born Legacy stage. Why not get that out the way? You right. know what I mean? When the opportunity presented itself, why not? Especially with a nigga like Geechee, he's on fire this year. There's nothing. Nothing bad could come from that situation. Nothing bad unless I fuck up. I get in there playing around with that nigga, right. and it, you know what I mean. It, it don't know, so it's no. I gotta lock in. I gotta make sure that situation is a great situation to capitalize off of me being it my first time and maybe my last time touching the Born Legacy stage. Right. 
You know what I mean? Like, so my whole thing is like, I, I'm just hope Born Legacy 7 is the is the best Born Legacy there was. Why? Because John John and Don was there. That's not, that may not be the case. But when you look at it, it's like, it's only one common denominator is this nigga. You know what I mean? So that's the type of shit I be looking at. And that's, that's what drives me. It don't be just the actual battle itself. It be the whole opportunity. The so, whole situation. So since we're there on uh, Geechee, um, mm-hmm. and like you said, this is, again, this is, this sounds like one of those battles we would have thought we'd see on Gnome or Summer Madness mm-hmm. or, or something, yeah. but this is actually on, uh, a Born Legacy card. Uh, he just yeah. battled, uh, Chess on another yeah. Born, Le- the, the other Born Legacy 6 card. So yeah. I think it's fire to have somebody of, you know, their caliber, Chess, Geechee, you actually battling on these Born Legacies instead of, you know, being on your high horse saying, I'm only going to battle on Summer Madness or Gnome at this stage of my career. So yeah. wh- wh- um, how long did you know you were going to battle them? And and what was that feeling when they said you got Geechee? I knew uh, probably like the week before Gnome. Okay. The week before Gnome, um, I was contacted about double – Double Summer Impact first, and then it was, um, you know, they asked me about if I was interested in going to Florida July 13th, and I was like, you know, what was that? And they was like, Born Legacy, and I'm just like, um, nah, like, like I was like surprised, like, because it would be like, you called me for a Born Legacy? You know what I mean? I was surprised. Like, right. And then and I was like, nah, I don't think I'm, then he said Geechee. And I said, that is in Tampa. Loso is on the card. He just went crazy. Uh, Geechee just went crazy versus Chess in Tampa. Born Legacy. You know what I mean? It's like, okay. You know, and, and these type of battles is more fun. Like the Gnomes and Summer Madnesses, that's work. You know what I mean? That's right. You got to lock in. That's work. To me, these battles is more fun. You know what I mean? We're going to have fun. We're going we gonna to get in there. Me and Geechee going to have a dog fight and have and have fun, like, but the one it ain't when I say have fun, it ain't no laughing. It's, I'm not playing with this nigga. Y'all know what type of battles I'm, I'm I got the same type of energy, but when I say fun, it's just like it's just about rapping, it's just about that type shit. Like, so you know what I mean? So the competitive spirits is uh is a little different. So yeah, so when would they you say, say GT, it's it less just, pressure? You no, know. nah, it's still pressure. It's okay. still pressure. I think every time you step on the stage, it's pressure. It doesn't matter what stage you, you step on, who you who you in front of, because you just never know. That one bad night, it could be a very bad night that could stick with you forever. Any given time, you just never know. So you got to be mindful of that every time you agree to be seen in front of a fucking camera, period. Right. Anything can happen. Right. You know what I mean? so. now, now, again, man, Geechee... I mean, the run that he's been on, man, I think uh, the only bad performance most people could say he had was against A-Ward. But everything else, man, it's just yeah. been golden with him. You know what I mean? And even the mm-hmm. competition that he's been standing in front of is just, you know, phenomenal for uh, for this guy to actually get in front of every one of those guys he got in front of and do what he does. Mm-hmm. Now, I mm-hmm. told you when I found out about this battle that I like this because all of the, the last battles he had, pretty much it was gangster against gangster. You know, it was, it was tough guy against tough guy. It was, you know, a lot of that. Not to say that right. you're not a tough guy or you're a punk, you know, mm-hmm. but it's just the, 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 the people that he was facing, you know, gang related and stuff like that. Right, right, right. Um, I like this matchup because now I, it's, it's different. You know what I mean? It's going to yeah. be two different types of people battling each other opposed to two gang members. Are you in a yeah, gang? I'm not. Not at all. Never I'm been not, in a gang? I'm not. Never. Okay. Never. Uh, I'm not even, because I'm not coming there to... Man, my fault. Because, uh, you get me? Yeah, I got you. We did. I, I'm not coming there to prove I'm more gangster than Geechee. So if anybody that's coming there to prove they're more gangster than Geechee, it's like, it'd be kind of hard to prove that, you know what I mean? This nigga's from Compton. Like, this nigga is, you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of <laughs> hard to prove you more gangster. 
every everything, every time this nigga say anything gangster, it just sounds that much harder because right. of who he is. So I'm not coming there to do that. You know what I mean? Like, so so that I think in that regard, those is real. Those is easier battles for Geechee. Not taken away from him because you know what I mean. At the end of the day, the competition he's facing is supposed to be spanking this nigga, it's supposed to be wiping the floor with this nigga. Mm -hmm. He's getting in there fighting, but those are still easier battles. You know what I mean? Like, okay, like, go ahead, uh, tell me more of this street shit that you've been saying to all of these niggas. Like, I'm not gonna deny it. Like, <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I believe you too, Geechee. You know what I mean? Like, so. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? It's just this is the, this is his toughest battle for sure, for sure. For sure. He gonna have to. I don't. I don't know what he gonna have to do. I really don't. Like I try to put myself in his shoes, and I do that for a lot of my opponents. And I don't know what he's gonna have to do. Maybe the shit that he's been doing will still work, but it's not gonna have that same effect. I promise you this, Uncle Rod. It's not gonna have the same effect. It might work, but it's not. This is this is a whole different. This is a whole different thing we got going on. Here. Like, this is a whole different thing we got going on. Was he even on your radar? No. No. Mm -hmm. So you, it, it never, you never said, I got to battle Geechee one day? No, I never did because of that. You know what I mean? Like, I never felt like there was anything to prove with Geechee. Like, that's the lane he was in. He's in that whole gangster lane and all of that. And I was never out to try to prove I'm more gangster to him. So he was never in my way. Of anything, I never felt like Geechee is somebody I needed on my resume. Needed, but when the name got presented to me, that's when I looked at it different. And I looked at how it can apply. Then I looked at the moment, and what's going on, and then I'm like, okay, all right, you know what I mean. And I knew what type of battle this was going to be. And the, the more I thought about it, I'm like, all right, this is a, this is a major battle. Whether people think it or not, when it happens, this is going to be like a major battle. I know for sure. You know what I mean? And so that then he became on my radar. Once he got presented, he got at it. You know what I mean? He got at it. Like <laughs> so, so let me yeah, ask you this. Yeah. Now now uh the last few battles he had, uh chess, um, mm -hmm. Arsenal, um mm -hmm. K Shine, you know, he just battled Surf. Mm -hmm. Do do you have him winning any of those battles? Uh yeah. I got him. I got him. I got him beating chess. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, I think he lost the other three battles, but I, I, it's hard to say he lost like like as if he lost in the situation. You know what I mean? Because he's consistent, and just sometimes that shit don't have the same effect on certain niggas. So that he, he 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 I feel like he gave the same level of performance and material all four battles. Same level. He's consistent. Niggas are saying he's Mr. Consistent. I give him that. Same level. It just worked very, it just worked well, way better with chess than it would work with Arsenal. Mm. Then it would work with K Shine. Mm -hmm. Then it would work with Sue Surf. You see what I'm saying? Like is the the levels shows. So it's like he's he's consistent. As long as you're consistent, you're not really losing. I just think with Kayshawn, Arsenal, and Surf, they really showed him levels. And, you know, he was able to use that in whatever case. You know what I mean? Like, learn from that, from the levels, uh, seeing the levels, and apply that with Chess, who's on his way back into the fold. You know but what I mean? Still, so, that was still a great battle between both of them. So, fire battle, fire battle. So you, you, it's, it's debatable. It's all, all, all four of them debatable. Okay, all right. That's what I was gonna all ask you. Four too. of them debatable. Got you. No, 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 no. Arsenal not debatable. Kayshawn, I don't know. But chess is chess debatable and surf debatable. Chess was fire. Chess is getting crazy. Me too. So if somebody told you, uh, I think Geechee beat Arsenal. Would you would you uh be mad at him? Would you argue with him that it's impossible to see it that way? I just it's just hard to see it that way, Uncle Ryan. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. It's just hard to see it that way. I was there again watching it on footage, it's still like it's still 
you know, I still feel the same way. Okay. Yeah, because I know sometimes, like I say, I see battles and be like, could have went either way for me. You know what I mean? So, like I say, yeah. those are the type of battles that I like. So, now, yeah. uh, and and you're doing this on Born Legacy, not a big stage. Are you regretting that? Am I what? Regretting, regretting that what? you're battling Geechee, one of, you know, the most, he's one of the most popular guys right now. Like, people want to yeah. see Geechee. Now, does it matter that it's on Born Legacy and not on a uh, Gnome or Summer Madness? I don't care where it's at. Okay. Never care where it's at. I don't, you know, a battle is a battle. It's it's on, you book it, you put it wherever you want to put it <laughs> to me. You know what I mean? So I, I'm going in there with the same type of energy. Like, like I said, this is this is a mega battle. It's gonna, this is going to turn out to be. And like I say, I'm looking forward to it because of the different types of styles. Uh, uh, not just mm -hmm. styles, the different type of talk. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. not going to be a lot of, you know, gang, gang type of talk. So I'm interested in seeing. And the same thing it was with chess. You know what I mean? It, yeah. You know, was was a little different this, but I'm 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 anticipating to see what you're gonna do against Geechee. I think he's gonna fuck you up, but you know I'm just playing. But I, I really want to see that battle. Like I really I'm really interested in seeing that. Not you know I, I think I could say I'm a little tired of seeing gang versus gang. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I want to see some mixing up now, and that's why I like you and um and uh, Geechee on this one. Uh, what's the date on there? July 13th. July 13th. Where is it at? Tampa. Tampa, Florida. And if I'm correct, I think those battles are going straight to the app. Do you have any of that yeah. information? Yeah. I, yeah, I, I think your, your battle, I think they were talking about putting your battle. I hope I'm not wrong, but I think Beasley was saying they was going to drop your battle, I think, that night or the next day on the app. Which is gangster. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I like that. You know what I mean? So and there's no the paper. App fire. They, they they niggas was complaining about the app. The app fire. Yeah. And now they now they apply more pressure. All right, we got certain battles that and then it's crazy because nobody's really asking for me and Geechee. They put that together and now it's like people like, oh, we wanna see it. How we gonna you know what I mean? Now it's like the conversation is, you know, it's turning. But the smart. You are now listening to 15 Minutes of Fame Radio. Let's go!